What up? All right, so I'm gonna do an example on piecewise linear functions. I already got a video on what piecewise linear function piecewise linear functions are. Now here's an example problem. Okay, I'd say this is probably I'd say this is probably easy to medium difficulty. Okay, so I'm gonna read this scenario and then we're gonna draw it. Okay, so it's elevation versus time. All right, now right off the bat, you know time is gonna be your x because no matter how high you are elevation wise, you're not gonna change the time. Okay? Come on now. Get real. Get real. I don't know why I keep pointing at you. I'm sorry about that. Alright? Elevation is dependent upon time. Okay? Time was not dependent on how hard. It's like you can't like, you know, walk up the stairs and go back in time. Okay? Time is your input. It's your X. It's your independent. It's on. It stands alone. Ah, oh, stand alone. Remember that song? No, you don't because you're probably a lot younger than me. Why do you say that? Okay? And then elevation is going to be our Y because it depends depends on time. Okay, so right off the bat I already know that. You know your input, your x, your independent variable is time, your dependent variable, your output, your y is elevation. Okay, so I'll read the story and then we'll walk through it. Okay, all right, so you've got a man. He's climbing down a ladder that is 10 feet high. At the time, zero seconds. His shoes are 10 feet above the floor. At six seconds, his shoes are three feet from 6 seconds to 8.5 seconds, he drinks some water on the step 3 feet from the ground. Um, after drinking the water, he takes 1.5 seconds to descend to the ground and then walks into the kitchen. The video ends at 15 seconds. Okay? So what is my range for time? 15 seconds. Good job, everybody. I'm very proud of you. You're so smart and so sweet and so pretty. Okay? So, 5, 10, 15, and we know we're doing it in seconds, so it doesn't hurt to label that as well. Okay? Now, elevation. Let's have how high was it? He got zero was the lowest because he stepped on the ground. Ten feet is the highest. So I can just do this at ten feet, five feet, zero feet. Cool? Cool? Cool, cool, cool. Okay. So, A, first part of the problem says, draw your own graph for this graphing story. Use straight line segments in your graph to model the elevation of the man over the different time intervals. Label your x-axis and y-axis appropriately and give a title for your graph. Okay? We did x-axis, which is time, labeled with seconds. Elevation is in feet. So we've labeled our x and y. Check. Number one rule of anything in school, do what the question asks of you. Too many people in math just answer what they feel like answering after they get rolling on the question. Answer the questions it asks. Okay? So we did that. Next, it says it still wants us to draw our own graph for it, but it wants us to piece these lines together. Hence, piecewise linear functions. You're piecing together linear functions. Pieces of lines put together, segments. Okay, there you go. So, let's put this guy together. It shows a man climbing down a ladder that is 10 feet high. At zero seconds, his shoes are 10 feet above the floor. So at zero seconds, right here, how high is he? 10 feet. Now, his shoes are 10 feet above the floor. At times six seconds, his shoes are at three feet. So after six seconds, which is it right here, they're at how far? Three feet off the ground. Wow, that dude dropped quick. So that would probably be three, correct? If that's five, that's zero, that's probably three. That's six seconds. Okay? So this is our first linear function. This is our first line. It goes from here to here. That's our first part. Done with the first part. Next, from six seconds to 8.5 seconds, which would be right here at six, and 8.5 would be about right, I'd say right there. It'd be 8.5. You can't see, that's way too small. But just know that's 8.5, that's our six. So this is our next chunk of time. Okay? He goes from six seconds to eight and a half seconds, um, and he stays at three feet. So how far up or down is he going? Is he going up or down? No, he's just sitting there, hanging out. So that means he's not going up or down, he stays right there, at the three feet mark. This is how high he's up the ground. Not how far he walks forward, but how high up or down. Just got to think straight up or down on that mug. Okay? Now, after that, he says, drink some water on the three step. Afterwards, drinking the water, he takes 1.5 seconds to descend to the ground. He doesn't go to the one and a half second, that'd be back here. He takes a second and a half. So you would think, well, what's 8.5 plus a second and a half? 8.5 plus a half is 9, plus the 1 is 10. So going up to 10 seconds here, and it says, what does he do? Takes 1.5 seconds to descend to the ground, and then walks into the kitchen. So, how, what is his elevation? How far is he off the ground when he gets to the ground? 
That's right, zero seconds, or zero feet. Wow, I ran into that wrong. So he drops, at 10 feet he's on the ground. Now, are we done? No, you're looking at the ground, he's done, he's done, he punched the ground. Well, first off, why he talks so weird? Okay, second off, no, he's not done. And then the video, he walks into the kitchen. Is he going up or down? No, he's not walking up the hill to the kitchen. He just walks straight into the kitchen. Okay, and that hits at the 15 second mark. So, right there. So you've got essentially one, two, three, four lines here. One, two, three, four. This doesn't mean they're all congruent, which it usually does in geometry, but I'm just showing you that's where the lines are. So we got four lines. There's one, two, three, four. Okay? Move on to the second part. Your picture is an example of a graph of a piecewise linear function. Duh. People say duh. I just did. Sorry. Okay? Each linear function is defined over an interval of time, represented on the horizontal axis. List those time intervals. Okay? So we need to set apart the time intervals here. Okay? So our first one, um, which our time is our x, so I'm going to do it like this. Um, our time interval here. Interval means from one section to the next. How, what is the distance there? What's the range there? Well, from 0 to 6 seconds, that'd be a 6 second interval. And then we went from 6 to 8.5. How far is from 6 to 8.5? That's 2.5 seconds. If you want to find that, you just do 8.5 minus 6. Okay, so 2.5. And then the next part would be 8.5 to 10, which they told us in the problem is 1.5. And then we're from 10 to 15, which is just a 5. Usually you put those in order, it would be 1.5, 2.5, 5, and 6. It's okay. I didn't. Alright? Next part. In your graph in part A, what does the horizontal line segment represent in the graphing story? What does this line segment, what do these line segments represent? What well, represents this man and how far he is from the ground over a period of time? That's all it means. He's not sliding down a slide. This is just a representation of how high he is from the ground over time. Okay? Good job. D, if you measured from the top of the man's head instead, saying he's six foot two, six foot two inches tall, how would your graph change? Okay, well, he's probably not gonna lay down on the ground and like slither in there like a little snake. Alright, no. At the very lowest point, he's probably gonna be right here at six foot two inches, right? That's where he's gonna be. That's at his lowest point. So essentially, if we followed it up at his highest point when he's ten feet, if his feet or on the 10 foot part, he's actually up here at 16.2 feet. Correct? Am I wrong? No. That's his highest point. So our graph would look just like this. It would just, everything would be shifted up 6 feet 2 inches. Okay? D. That's what I just did. E. Suppose the ladder is descending into the basement of the apartment. The top of the ladder is at ground level, 0 feet. So that would say the top of the ladder, which is right here, would now be at zero feet, because now we're going into the basement, um, and the base of the ladder is 10 feet below ground level, so that would be essentially negative 10. How would your graph change in observing the man following the same motion descending the ladder? Well, would this change any? No, it would be like we were shifted up 6 foot 2 inches there, now we're shifted down 10 feet on everything. So, that's exactly what that is. Two pretty easy questions. Last one. What is the average rate of descent between the time 0 seconds and time 6 seconds? What is the average rate of descent between 8.5 and 10? Which interval does he descend faster? So essentially we want to find this chunk and this chunk. And we want to see what the rate was. Well guess what? This is called slope. It's the rate of change. If you don't know, I've got videos of the slope. It's y equals mx plus b, slope, rate of change. All the, actually, that's the slope intercept. You don't need that. You just need to know what your change, your rise and run. Okay? So it's rise over run. Okay? Okay, so these are the two steepest ones. These just go straight across. There's no, there's no rate downward, okay? So we need to find this one and this one. Okay? So essentially all we do is we find the rise over the run. We want to find which one's the steepest. Essentially which one's a bigger number. Okay? Because that would be the steepest. Our rise, we go 10 down to, what was that at, 3 feet. So that's negative 7 is the rise. And how far does it go over? It went from 0 to 6. So negative 7 over 6. Okay? That's for this one. Now, for this chunk right here, we went from, let's do our rise. First our rise went 3 feet. So it went down 3. From there, down 3. 
and then went over 1.5. Okay? Now, if we look at these, it's negative 7 over 6. That'd be, if you divided 7 by 6, that'd be 1 and 1 6, correct? Which nobody uses mixed things anymore once you get past like 6th grade. It'd be 1, negative 1 point, I don't know, what is that? Like 15-ish, 16-ish? I don't know, ish? Can I, can I write that? 16-ish? And then negative 3 divided by that would just be negative 2. Which one's steeper? Which one's a larger number? This one. So this right here is actually your steeper one. That's the faster descent than it was up here because you had too much time go by. While you went further, you didn't go up faster. This is a steeper descent. Okay? And that's the end of that piecewise function. Our time together was short, but it was very, very sweet. Thank you for this time. I hope you learned a lot. I don't know why I talked about this. Bye-bye. What up? Thank you for watching the video. I for real, for real appreciate that. You know I do. You know I do, girl. Um, or dude, whatever. Okay, so, if you could, real quick, I'm going to run through. Check me out on Facebook. If you want, just type in Tyler Tarver. It'll pop up Tyler Tarver is okay. Or you can just go facebook.com slash Tyler's okay. Or you can just do fb.com slash Tyler's okay. Yeah, Facebook jumped on that. Got the fb.com. Good job, Facebook. Check me out on Twitter, Tyler Tarver. Twitter.com slash Tyler Tarver. T-Y-L-E-R-T-A-R-V-E-R. Blah. Check out Instagram. Just search Tyler Tarver. Once again, blah. I got to have Tyler Tarver and everything except for Facebook. It's Tyler's okay. Did my best. Sorry, Mom. Okay? If you want, um, you can check out my website. It's TylerTarver.com. Or if you're on YouTube, you just click this. It'll take you to my regular YouTube page where I post videos that are less math and more not math. I try to be funny. <laughs> I'm just kidding. And then you go to TarverAcademy.com. It's got a lot of math videos. Try to organize them for you. Got tons of math videos. Little help videos. Some that are just off there. Some where I'm up here. <laughs> Look at me, everybody. All right. And then you can also click that if you're on YouTube. And it'll take you to my math channel, which is YouTube.com slash Sir Tyler Tarver. So if you're interested in math videos, got a ton of math videos on there. And I'm putting more on there all the time. So in conclusion, you just go ahead and go to the Facebook page. You know, be a, you know click like or whatever. Check out the Twitter, follow, and then you go to Instagram, you're like, ah, oh, and then you're going to go over here, and you're going to subscribe to this YouTube channel, which is just search Tyler Tarver, it's the only ones that don't have math videos, and then you Sir Tyler Tarver, pops up this one, so, just going to wait, I'll just wait right here, just wait right here for you to go do all those things, just click it, and it'll probably pop it in the window, just, just go ahead and search, get your phone out, whatever, you just, just wait. I really am going to wait until you go do all of the things that I asked you to do. That's all I'm asking. Just go do all the stuff that I asked. <laughs>